that was a different person two years ago. And the process of actually seeing it happen, it's like an out of body experience almost. Like you wouldn't even believe it. I was still an employee in a practice, ready to go out on my own, feeling like maybe I could do this, not having the confidence, not even having total imposter syndrome, not, I, I joke, you know, I don't know the first, I even now, I don't know the first thing about business and here I am running my own business. And just it's it's been and, and having a community, I can't express how it's the community that is what makes Entre MD magic. It, it, I've never been in a community. I'm a surgeon. I'm a urologist. All we do is push each other down. It's a pissing contest, literally urology of like, who's better than you. And, and you feel terrible all the time. You feel like you're getting in trouble all the time. If somebody wants to talk to you, it's because you're in trouble. Whereas Entre MD is this community of doctors who just lift each other up and love each other. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you, I, 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 one of our, our dearest members, was a pediatrician in Trinidad and Tobago who passed recently of pancreatic cancer. And when I tell you she loved me and loved on me more than my own family, more than my own friends, more than my own colleagues, I never met her, right? It's a, it's, it's, and her voice is still in my head and her Facebook voice messages are still in my phone of, of rooting me on. And so I've never been in a supportive community like this. And when you enter the right room, like you all have done hard things. I have done hard things. But when you enter the right room and you realize and you celebrate the hard things and you say, wait a minute, I do it scared always. I was scared when I started medical school. I was scared when I started residency. I was scared seeing that first patient. And then you realize how hard could QuickBooks be? It can't be that hard. QuickBooks can't be that hard. Anyway, I, I have a million wins, I, a million I, I came out, no one would hire me. I'm a sexual medicine doctor. I do, I, I take care of sexual problems and sexual health issues. I, I take care of the neglected, the people where nobody wants to talk about these private parts issues. And I do a cash pay practice where I look at it very biopsychosocial and I take care of complex menopause, pelvic pain, very evidence-based. Um, and I am so passionate about what I do. I never stop talking about it. So if you follow me on social media, and you should all follow me on social media, Dr. Rachel Rubin, because not because I need more followers, but because I teach you how to fish. I want you to do the work that I do, because whether you're a pathologist or an anesthesiologist or a gynecologist or a pediatrician, you need to know about sexual medicine. And so when you care about what you do and you're passionate about what you do, you never want to stop talking about it. I'm not bragging. I'm literally just, just so infectiously wanting people to love the field as much as I do. And that has gotten me because, and then watching Dr. Una and literally whatever she says, she's right. It's really frustrating because she's just, you don't want to do it. You're like, I don't want to do a YouTube channel, but I know I should, right? Like I don't want to make videos because as I tell her, I have a face for radio, but I still, but every time I make a video, I get a thousand new Instagram followers. If I put a post up, I don't get any. If I make a video, because the damn algorithm, I get a thousand new followers. And because of what Dr. Una has said, I think I started EntreMD with 5,000 followers. And I was thinking I was pretty great. And I have followed her framework. And I now I'm very, I'm about 400 away from 20,000 followers. I had almost no Instagram followers when I started on Trim D, but it's not about the followers. It's about the impact this morning. I'm dressed up, not, not for you guys, but I did a podcast with my, this morning with my hero, this woman in Britain who has literally changed the game of menopause. She's my hero and she only knows who I am because of Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. And she asked me to be on her podcast and I, it was like, pinch me. The same way I am mentioned and quoted in a British newspaper this morning in an article about vibrators in the Daily Telegraph in print. My name is in the newspaper and this is in Britain. So now I've gone international. I mean, all because I put and and I say this because I want you to know how nor how regular I am. I am so flawed and regular and 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 used to take propanolol before speaking in a group of five residents and realizing that like no one stops you but you, right? You are the person that stops you. The reason I am not writing a book is because I don't want to and I'm stopping myself from writing a book because I don't have time. I have a six year old and a four year old. I'm so busy. Um, I'm overwhelmed every moment, and yet I still feel like an imposter. I still feel frustrated. I had a temper tantrum on Wednesday. Many of my, my, my friends from EBS can attest to this. Please put in the chat box. I legitimately had a temper tantrum on Wednesday night. And saying that I can't do this, I'm struggling, I can't do business, I don't know what I'm doing. And literally, they all, as a community, took me, lifted me up, and said, you need to stop for a second and realize 
that things are working. Is everything working? No. Can it work better? Can we always get better? Look at medicine. We used to do bloodletting. We used to do, you know, electric convulsive therapy to everybody. We used to do, you know, the things we used to do and look at us now. We're going to look back in 50 years and be like, what the hell? What were we thinking of doing? Everything we know in medicine right now is wrong. And so anyway, I could talk for hours to all of you, but it really, I just can't tell you how the community has just made me believe in myself in ways that medicine never did. And by having my brains from medicine and the community to get me to maximize and, and teach and spread the gospel every way that I possibly can and become profitable. I'm, I opened my practice a year and a half ago and I didn't take out a loan. I was, I'm a cash pay practice. I was profitable from day one. And I, I just am learning to math. I'm learning to make the math math and I'm learning to value my own worth. I charge like a lawyer. You want my expertise, you're going to pay for it. And I'm not going to apologize for that. Although I, I, it took a lot of coaching from this group to get me there. Right. And I can do charity work. I can do research. I can do education. I can do speaking, I, I, but it's different than the business and the math has to math. And I just, I, I mean, it's just been just an absolute incredible journey. I think of my Entra MD charge. And I'm, I, I want you to know, y'all, I don't pay for gum. Like I am the most frugal person you will ever meet in your life. And I don't understand how people I've never invested in myself before, except for med school. I think of it as my marketing budget. I have never paid a dime for marketing. I've never paid for a Google ad. I've never paid for a Facebook ad. And I've never paid for anyone to give me strategy. When I opened up my cash pay private practice, I had a waiting list of 350 people. If you call my office right now, my next new patient is February. I got problems, people. They're good problems, but I've got problems, right? Febu if you call me and say, I have hot flashes and night sweats, February is when I can see you. That's unacceptable. So if any of y'all want to come work with me, I need help. But this is where we're at, right? All because of the framework, sticking to it, believing in myself, and then having a community of amazing people helping guide me. Hey, what do I do with my space? How do I do this? How do I solve these problems? How do I, you know, do this on QuickBooks? Everyone's there because they're all at different levels. There's so many incredible students that are so far, so much more successful and farther along than me. And that's the magic of it. Cause I see, I see it. I see the future because of them.